if you were inclined to get a haircut during a quarantine and this person cannot be your barber, but who would you choose to give you that haircut? Yeah, clearly I haven't uh, seen one of those in a while, but um, my uncle uh, actually came over and cut my dad's hair. So I, I almost hopped in, but um, I wasn't ready to give it up yet. If, if I can grow hair, I might as well do it while I can, right? Yeah, no doubt. Can we see that hair without the hat on, or are you hiding something? I did just get home from a workout, and I had to rush on. It's more of like a mullet right now, but it's uh, it's long. I'll definitely have to trim it up before uh, hopefully I re we report here soon. All right. Um, what's your favorite, or what was, or is, your favorite Halloween costume? Well, my go-to every year was uh, was Rocky, just because I could go out and buy a gray pair of sweatpants, this gray sweatshirt, just tape up my hands and put a hat on, and I look like Rocky. I was I was balling on a budget back in college, so that was like the easy one every year. I could just get something for cheap. But um, I'd have to go. Favorite would be uh, when we went to the fall league and was at eighteen. Me, Tommy, you know, I went as uh, Elf, Buddy the Elf. I had like the tall, you know, I already had that taken care of, but got the fro, got the costume, and um, I never heard so many people wish that I found my dad that night. <laughs> I feel like there, there've got to be pictures of this somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. If you go to my Instagram uh, at Evan Cruz, you know, got to build up the uh, the social networking. But uh, yeah, there's one on my Instagram. Uh, okay, so your least favorite household chore? True. Well, growing up in Wisconsin has to be snow blowing, or in my case, shoveling. Um, snow blower was off limits. That was strictly for my dad. But uh, anytime I had a shovel, that, that's the reason why I got out of the north for college. I, I didn't even want to see snow again. Now, did you guys ever do? Did you and, and like your buddies or anything ever try to turn it into a? capitalistic venture where you'd go around the neighborhood and try to sell your services shoveling snow i hated it so much that i would like pay kids my age to come do it for me like the little money i could scrap up i'd have them come shovel it for me that's how much i hated the snow so <laughs> yeah i feel like wisconsin snow too is probably a different story you yeah know, we're both northeast guys here me and matt but we probably have no idea it's got to be a lot heavier yeah Especially when I was in college, everyone's like, I can't wait for snow. I was like, I came down here to never see snow again. I don't want to see snow. What was the last movie you watched? I'm not a big movie guy, honestly. If, if I scroll across one on TV, let's see, what was I watching the other day? Um, who, uh, Sylvester Stallone. What's, what's Rambo. Rocky? Rambo. Oh. First time I've ever seen Rambo. It was on TV the other day, and I watched it. Um, let's say uh, – Digital technology has come a long way. There was some yeah. uh, pretty, pretty rough scenes in that movie. I'm sure it was the first one. I'm, I'm not even sure. But, um, yeah, it was uh, very below average. Have you ever watched a movie that doesn't have Sylvester Stallone in it? I don't know. Yeah. Just, just a lot. I guess, yeah, he's been brought up. He's been brought up a lot today. No, let's see. I'm not, I'm not even a big fan. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a Rocky from start to finish, if we're being honest. I just looked up cheap costumes, and that was the first one that came up. Was there was gray sweatpants and a gray sweatshirt, put a little cap on, and tape up your hands. All right, beach or mountains? Can I substitute lake? There's lakes and mountains. And I'm gonna have to go mountains. I've always <laughs> argued, going from Wisconsin to North Carolina, we were you know 30 minutes off the coast. I would always just say how much better the the lake life was than the the beach life. Beach life is just a commitment. If you're going to the beach, you're not going to the beach for a couple hours. You can just go on the lake for a little bit, ride around on the boat, maybe just sit on the on the shore. But if you go, if you're going to the beach, it's you're in for the long haul. So, do you fish when you're on the lake, or you just go and kind of cruise around and hang out? I'll do whatever. Um, I, I'm a big. I, I like to fish. I'm not very good at it. Um, I, I'm a pretty patient guy, so I can just sit out there and enjoy being out in the water. I don't care if I catch anything or not. So I, I know one pastime that is close to your heart is golfing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Terrible at it. <laughs> like, 
true. That's that's the number one thing is people are like, man, you always golf. I'm like, yeah. And then they go out and play with me. And they're like, for your, as much as you golf, you're not very good. I'm not out there to shoot a 90. I'm not out there to shoot a 70. I'm out there to shoot a 90. If I break 90, that's a good day for me. I know. So what's your all-time, like, best golf moment? The round that I made it through without losing a golf ball. I, I mean, oh, wow. it never happens, ever. Because I, I can hit it. The problem is I miss – in baseball, you don't want to miss middle. In golf, you want to miss middle. And I need to switch those two up a little bit. Baseball, I miss middle too much. And in golf, I don't miss middle at all. It's always <laughs> missing way out and never down the middle. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pretty big problem I have. And when I do run into one, though, it, it'll go. But then I'll probably duff my chip or something like that. And no consistent part of my golf game. Last question for you. What's the favorite moment of your career so far? Favorite moment of my career so far? Is that including pro ball and college? We, yeah, just sure. pro ball? Could be a pro in college. Um, college would have to be, you know, winning the, the regional at the University of Virginia my junior year. That was a pretty cool experience. I get to hold against Connor Jones, so that's always a good time. Anytime we can be, and he actually started the game. We we beat them, so he didn't take the loss. Their uh, reliever blew it, but anytime I can hold that against Connor Jones, that's always fun. Um, he's he's a good friend though. Uh, and then um, professionally, um, basically everything from Double A in 2018. That was just such a fun time. Um, you know, we kind of made a comeback there in the second half. Made a little push at it and uh, eventually push into the playoffs. But it's just a fun time playing baseball with a good group of guys and just uh, something I'll probably take with me forever. <laughs>